So once my phone gets dirty, I'm done recording. So what's your message? Um, I really don't think there's anything new to say, but there shouldn't have to be, because if you looked around this closet and saw everyone just hiding together, you would know that this shouldn't be happening anymore, and that it doesn't deserve to happen to anyone, and that no amount of money should make it more easily accessible to get guns. Um, and that's that. That was more well articulated in my head. <laughs> you want to say anything else? No. No. Get it off screen. You just don't want to Yeah, we'll point it at the ground. This is Alex's view. This recording is taken at 9.32, February 14th, 2018. Alex, are you okay with me recording this? Yes, I am okay with you recording this. Okay. Um, I personally have rallied for, um, you know, gun rights and how um, less control, not necessarily less control, but this experience has definitely changed my viewpoint. I wanted to be a junior NRA member. I wanted to learn how to hunt. I was always fascinated by guns as a young girl, but this experience was so traumatizing to the point where now I can't even fathom the idea of a gun in my house or on my bodice. Um, I did have plans for my 18th birthday to go to Nexus Gun Range and learn how to shoot, but at this point, I don't even want to be behind a gun. I don't want to be the person behind a bullet because I don't want to be the person to point a bullet at someone. And to have the bullet pointed at me, my school, my classmates, my teachers, my mentors, it's, it's just, it's definitely eye-opening to the fact that we need more gun control in our country because for this to happen and for people to be so neutralized to it, I even texted my sisters shooting at my school, I am safe. They both responded with, OMG, LOL, you're funny. Now that's a problem in society and it's a bigger problem in America and it needs to be fixed and I believe the most definite way to fix it is by changing our laws when it comes to gun ownership.